Hey guys, welcome to this video tutorial on Tailwind, which is a scheduling tool a lot of people use for their Pinterest account. So Tailwind is the tool that I've been using recently to grow my Pinterest account. And as you can see here, I just got started a few months ago and my pins were only at you know two or three hundred pins and now I've been able to get up to 709 pins using Tailwind to schedule out pins for me and post them without my involvement. So one of the first things you'll need to do to sign up for Tailwind is you're gonna to need to come over to www.tailwindapp.com and you can check out the different pricing here. They give you a free trial which basically is unlimited length of time. It goes by how many pins you schedule. So it's gonna let you schedule a certain amount of pins before it's finally gonna cut you off and make you purchase. So once you purchase, however, you can pay $9.99 a month or you can get billed at an annual rate, which is gonna you know, save a little bit of money. And therefore, you're gonna be able to then begin using Pinterest to pin unlimited number of pins. So a lot of people also use another app called Board Booster, but the only difference between the two that I really don't like is Board Booster charges per pin. So if you wanna pin up to 500 pins per month, which is their basic plan, that's gonna cost you $5, because it's about one cent per pin. So then as you increase your pinning, let's say you wanna pin 1,000 times a month or 2,000 times a month, it's gonna start racking up you know, even more money. So this ends up being the cheaper option if you're gonna pin lots per month. But if you don't think you're gonna pin more than 500 times a month, then maybe Board Booster would be the tool for you. Now, once you've signed up with Tailwind, you're gonna come into your dashboard here and you're gonna get an overview of your last seven days. So it's gonna tell you how many repins you've had in the last seven days for all the different pins on your account. It could be your pins, that come from your website and it can be other pins that you've repinned of other people's. Either way, it's gonna show you the total number of repins and it's gonna compare it to your average and compare it to your last week. And then you're gonna see your total. So as mentioned, my account is pretty new, but I've been able to see explosive traffic growth in a short amount of time, which is why I thought it'd be important to create this video today because I know there's a lot of you out there who are considering moving to a scheduler because it gets time consuming, you know, trying to pin 20, 30 pins per day throughout the day. And this really will save you a lot of time and help you grow your Pinterest account on autopilot. So after repins, you can see your domain pins. So 59 domain pins and we had 52 last week. So these are pins that actually went from your website when you link to your website URL which Pinterest is gonna know because you're, when you sign up for your Pinterest account, you're gonna verify your website and that's gonna be connected to your account. So anytime you create pins that link to your website, Pinterest is gonna know that those pins are going to your website and not somebody else's website and that's how it's gonna be able to track in here how many pins came from your domain. And then you're gonna to get to see a breakdown of your new followers as well over the last seven days. So here I've gained 22 new followers and I haven't even been on Pinterest hardly. It's been just auto posting for me and that as a result has gained me followers and I'm up to 512 total now, which isn't too bad for only being on Pinterest for a few months. So that's your dashboard overview. Now the important feature you'd like to know how to do is how to schedule pins. So under the microphone, you're gonna see publish. You've got drafts and scheduled pins and published pins as well as your schedule and board lists. So let's start with drafts. These are pins that you've saved for later. So one of the cool things about Tailwind is you can install the Google Chrome extension. So right here it is, the little wings of a bird, Tailwind Publisher. And once that's installed, anytime you hover over a pin, you'll notice that little app right here with the wings. So by clicking on this app here, it's gonna open up a, your account basically, and it's gonna allow you to either schedule that pin now or you can save it for later. So I'm gonna go ahead and click save for later. And if you wanna give it a new description and give it a board, 
So in this case, 12 tips to massively increase your Pinterest traffic. So I could give it, you know, my Pinterest board called Pinterest tips, and then I could leave the description and I'll go ahead and click save for later. And by clicking save for later, that's going to bring it in here to my drafts so that now I can go ahead and schedule that pin at a later time in bulk. So this allows you to quickly go through here and we can just, you know, click on a bunch of different pins on Pinterest, click save for later, then click minimize, click on this pin, it'll load again, you'll click save for later. And you can just go through here in a matter of 10 minutes and save, you know, 100 different pins to your drafts. And then you've got, you know, 100 different pins now that you can come into your drafts and schedule over the next, you know, week, two weeks, three weeks, depending on how many pins you plan on doing per day. So when I come into drafts here, you're going to see a lot of different pins that I saved, including the ones that I just saved using the Tailwind extension for Google Chrome and it's gonna show me my schedule. So currently I'm pinning about 12 to 13 times per day here, and I have filled out you know, a couple days worth of content, and now starting Thursday, it's got you know fresh boxes that need filled in. And you're gonna notice here the different time slots that it lists, 426, 435, 442. So that's where under here, your schedule, when you click your schedule, it's gonna let you choose each day of the week what time slots you want to pin so we've got monday tuesday wednesday thursday all the way down through sunday and it's going to show you you know based on the color coordination so the darker green ones these are more popular time zones that a lot of people are on pinterest and then the white ones are time slots it's suggested so i haven't added these yet but if i want to you know increase my number of pins per day from 17 on monday well, there's three additional time slots here that I could click and that would get me up to 20 pins on a Monday. So every Monday, it will pin at these exact times for me. So all I have to do is save a bunch of pins to my drafts and then schedule them out to my schedule and it'll randomly shuffle up my pins and place them into all these different time slots for me. So it's a really convenient tool for you know quickly scheduling a bunch of pins in bulk without having to go in and do them you know, one by one and take a long time to schedule everything. You just pick your time slots and then you save all your pins to your drafts. Go ahead and click schedule all and it'll randomly shuffle your pins into all these different time slots you set up. So you want to go through here and pick, you know, each day what time slots you want. So here on Tuesday, I might add in another one. So now I'm up to 15 pins on Tuesday. Wednesday, you know, I might add all three of these suggested time slots to get me up to 15 pins. Thursday, we'll go ahead and add two more here that it's suggesting. So I'm up to 14. And then Friday, we've got a couple different time slots we'll add here that they're suggesting. And we've got that up to 15. So now I've just increased my timing up to about 14, 15 pins per day for each of these days. And these are all times that Pinterest the Tailwind app suggested are good times to pin based on how people log in and out of Pinterest throughout the day. So once you've set up your schedule here, you can go back into your drafts as mentioned, and we're gonna see all of the different scheduled time slots again down here under the Your Schedule tab. So here's all the different time slots that we've now set up you know, on the previous page. So within my drafts, what you got to do now is you have to go through and give your pins a board that you want to pin to. So as mentioned, when you're over here on Pinterest and you're saving pins using the Tailwind app, it'll pop up the pin and allow you to pick the board right then and there, which is what we did here where we selected Pinterest tips. Now, if you don't schedule it to a board at that point, then when you come back into your drafts later, all of these still need a board. So in this case, you're gonna to have to go through here one by one, picking out a board for each of your pins, which could take a while. So what I would do to, to bulk the process and speed it up is when you're in Pinterest, you wanna target specific types of pins first. So for example, let's say I typed in Pinterest tips into Pinterest. So by doing that, it's going to bring up all kinds of pins related to Pinterest. So I could go in here and, you know, save 20 of these pins that are related to Pinterest tips. 
And then I could come back in here to my drafts. I would have 20 drafts of all different Pinterest related pins. And I can quickly click on this button up here, add board to all. And I could pick my Pinterest tips board. So I'll go ahead and do that to show you what it does. So I could, you know, pretend these are 20 pins that I just saved from Pinterest that relate to Pinterest. Now I could give it the board Pinterest tips since that would be the, what they would be relevant for. And scrolling down here, you can see now it's scheduled all of my pins for that board, Pinterest tips. So once that's done, all I would have to do is click schedule all drafts and it would shoot all 20 of these pins into my schedule. And then over here, I can click shuffle K and it'll randomize them so that you know, not all 20 Pinterest pins are going to show up in a row getting scheduled in a row. It'll mix it in with all my other pins as well so that there's a good mix of content that's getting pinned out each day and not not just my Pinterest related pins. All right, so that's one way to bulk schedule a bunch of pins to save you time. That way you don't save 100 different random pins in here and then you've got to go into all 100 of them and pick the relevant boards. Instead, I like to bulk batch my pins so I'll first you know pick a topic like Pinterest and then we might go you know with Instagram so then I would type in you know Instagram tips and we'd start finding all types of Instagram pins and we'd start saving all these into drafts then I'd come back into drafts I would click the board you know that I want to pin all those Instagram related pins to to my Instagram board and then we'd click schedule all drafts and then we'd hit shuffle to shuffle them up. So now we've got a good mix of Instagram pins, Pinterest pins, and then like email marketing pins, blogging pins, all the other types of pins I've got here in my schedule. It'll reshuffle them all up so that it's a good mix of content. All right, so that's drafts. And then if you wanna check out your scheduled pins, you can go ahead and click the scheduled pins button and it'll show you you know all your current scheduled pins it'll show what board it's scheduled to what time the description so if you need to come in here and edit anything like adding more boards add, editing the description editing the link so if you're linking out to your website or another resource you can do so within your scheduled pins and then board lists this is kind of what we were talking about a minute ago so you can set up board lists so if you want to schedule one pin to go out to you know five different boards, you could create that those five boards here as one list. So then you can go ahead and pick this list to schedule that pin to and it'll automatically shoot it out to all five of those boards. That way you don't have to save the pin five different times to five different boards. It'll just do it for you automatically. So it'll save you a lot of time if you decide to use board lists. So those are basically the main features under publish. And then you can come down here to monitor your domain. So this is where you'll see different analytics, basically, you know, which boards and which pins are doing the best. And that's going to help you decide, you know, what types of pins your audience likes the most so that you can pin more of those pins in the future uh, to help boost your impressions and your repins and clicks to your website. All right, and then referral traffic. This basically shows you, uh, you know, different clicks that are coming to your website from Pinterest. So as you can see, you know, my account still being pretty new. I wasn't getting many clicks before from Pinterest, but over time from pinning more and more each day and pinning more of my content that links back to my blog, I'm slowly starting to get more clicks more frequently. And recently we started getting four and five clicks per day and you can see you know over the last month how many visitors and page views you had so I know at one point in April I only had one person to my website uh, for this particular brand and you know not a lot of page views but it looks like here in May it's really started to pick up and now I've got ask Nick Foy going where my golf brand on the other hand if I was to log into that account you would be able to see you know how I'm getting thousands and thousands of clicks per month uh, to Pinterest so I can come in here and show you for example that one so I use clicky analytics to track my website traffic uh, so you can see here pretty much in the last seven days I've had 3,400 visitors and a large majority of them have been you know coming from Pinterest so my golf account here 
we'll scroll down here and I'll show you for the month of May so far so for the last 15 days we've had a lot of visitors come from Pinterest so going into social media here we'll be able to see a breakdown of Pinterest versus Instagram versus Facebook all right so Pinterest has sent me 2368 visitors back to my website in just the first two weeks of May so if I was to double this, I'm looking at closely 4,600 visitors this month from Pinterest to my golf account. So that's the power of Pinterest. Once you get it going, it can really send explosive amounts of traffic to your website. So that's what we're trying to get going here with the Ask Nick Foy brand now. We started doing a lot of the same strategies I was using on my golf brand and we're trying to duplicate the process so that we can get it going and get you know that kind of traffic to my website each month which will then increase email subscribers increase your income because more people will you know click your affiliate links or purchase your products so overall that's kind of a quick video walking you through the different main features of tailwind you've got the weekly summary dashboard on the home page we've got the publish tab where you can look at all the drafts that you've saved from Pinterest and you can schedule them out depending on your schedule that you set up to the different time slots and then you can create board lists to help you know quickly schedule a bunch of pins out to different boards without having to go in and individually do each one so it saves you some time and then you can monitor you know the data under the monitor your domain tab to see how many repins you're, you're getting to your website how many clicks how many page views and other important analytics that'll help you decide you know going forward what types of pins you should be doing to your account so again tailwind it costs $9.99 a month it's well worth the investment go ahead and pay it annually it's gonna to come to a little over a hundred dollars and then you're all gonna be all square for the year and you can begin scheduling an unlimited amount of pins so it's recommended you schedule between 20 to 40 pins per day which will turn out to be about 600 to 1200 pins per month so with that many pins per month, you're going to be able to get your pins seen, your profile seen. That's going to help grow your followers and get more clicks back to your website, as you saw with my golf account. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to check out Tailwind, just go to tailwindapp.com or you can type in asknickfoy.com slash tailwind. That helps me refer you and I believe we both get referral credit as a result so it helps you know cut down the price of your your tailwind trial by using the referral code so check that out as well and uh, be sure to hit the subscribe and like button if you're not so that you can check out the latest helpful tutorials coming your way each week from our youtube channel